Hi there, in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to enable or disable contextual tax bar in Photoshop. So this bar actually gives you access to perform some quick functions in Photoshop. So assuming I want to remove this background, I can just click on remove background. From the help of the contextual tax bar, I was able to remove this background. And I can use this image anywhere at all I want to use it. So if you have even designed already, and you want to make modification to text because you have the contextual tax bar, it's easy to do those modifications. So if I click on this text for instance, the contextual tax bar is actually going to appear here. So you can see I have the font. I was able to detect the font, the font size, and then if I want to change the font, I can actually click here and then select a different font. So if you don't have this, I'm going to show you how to enable that. Remember, it's only available in some latest version of Photoshop. So if you want to enable this or disable this, so before we do that, we first have to disable this. So if you can't see this, the best you can do is to go to the windows and see here, the contextual taskbar is being displayed over here. I've actually enabled this. That is why anytime I click on any text, I'm able to have access to the contextual taskbar. At the moment, you can see I don't have it. So if I want to have access to this, I can actually go ahead and start using it. So what I'm going to do is it, I'm going to undo this back and then I enable my contextual taskbar you can see it's going to appear down here and this is actually going to help me to remove the background of this image if it's about text I should be able to do that so anywhere you will need any quicker any quick tool to use this tool is, this anywhere you need access to any quick tool to use then you can actually rely on the contextual taskbar and then you can use it if you don't want it you can easily go here click on the three dot here you can see hide bar okay Yes, actually, there's actually some more properties here you can actually click on over here. So if you don't want to see it again, you can actually go ahead and then click on hide bar. So it's going to disappear. Anytime you want it, just go back to window here and then click on this to actually enable it and then it will come back. So basically, this is how to enable contextual tax bar in Photoshop. Like, subscribe for more videos like this. Till I come away again. Bye-bye.